Hey folks, Marcus here again from the Ashen Fly Shop. We're here today to talk a little bit about fly tying thread, the different options that we carry and how to understand the differences in brand and the way that they rate the strengths and the thickness of thread and how it all factors into your fly tying. So let's get started here. So on my left here, I've got kind of a stack of uni thread in front of me um, that's ranging from 8 aught to 6 aught to 3 aught. And in fly tying thread, anytime you see that aught mark, the higher the number, the thinner the thread. So if we start with our 3 aught, that's going to be the thickest thread um, in that range. And that's, that's if you're tying trout flies, I would think of 3 aught uni thread as almost exclusively being for tying streamer flies. Um, once we get into 6 aught, which is you know half the amount of fibers as 3 aught, it's a much more versatile size that will open up medium medium sized nymphs and dry flies, which will really be a versatile option. You could also use it on streamers, um, but it's going to be a more versatile option because of the size of it. Anytime you're working on like a size 12 or a 14 hook, that 6 aught is going to fit in the space so much better than a 3 aught thread will. And when we go down to smaller thread than 3 aught, we get to the 8 aught uni thread. Um, 8 aught, I would say, can be used if you have if you tie with a lighter touch, but the main purpose is going to be mainly for smaller flies. Anything size 14 and under is really going to benefit from an 8 aught thread, um, especially like your 14, 16, 18. It's almost going to require that you use 8 aught thread. Um, the nice thing about Uni Thread as a company is they have a bunch of different colors at their disposal. So if you're tying trout flies, you have a bunch of range between olives and oranges, yellows, grays, browns, black, obviously. As we get into different companies, they each have their own way of rating the strengths of thread. And another brand that we carry is Ultra Thread, and that is rated a little bit differently than the Uni Thread. You won't see the aughts in there but you will see like uni thread 70, which is roughly equivalent to six aught um, in the uni thread. And the nice thing about ultra thread, I can hold some up here. Um, uni thread has more of a dull finish, which can be nice in a lot of trout tying situations. The ultra thread, as you can see, has a waxed sheen to it. So when we're tying steelhead flies, um, Little Traditionals are really awesome with this Ultra Thread 70 count. Comes in a bunch of colors and it's got that sheen which can be nice in a lot of steelhead offerings. Particularly the fluorescent colors just have that nice vibrance to them which is very nice. As we go into thicker threads, um, Uni Big Fly is a very thick thread. It's, it's one of the thickest ones that we carry. Um, really strong, really thick, comes in a couple different colors. Um, for me, has become a little bit too big to work with in a lot of situations. I just found myself building up the heads more with them. Um, but some people really like the big fly thread, and so we've kept it around. Um, as we transition from Uni and Ultra Thread, we get into Vivas, um, which in my opinion and in my tying experience is the best tying thread out there and the best stuff that we're carrying right now and that I've been able to find. Um, comes in a couple different flavors. You will see it rated um, in, one, in, in terms of denier. So this is one Vivas 140 power thread, which means it's 140 denier, which is a very appropriate all around intruder, shank fly, tube fly type of thread. Um, it's got a lot of nice colors to it. It's very strong. It's, it's pretty thick. It's about as thick as 3-aught uni, but it's much stronger. So you can really 
pull on your materials and cinch them down. And similar to the Ultra Thread, it's got that nice vibrance to it, um, which is nice in a lot of steelhead applications. I will say, in talking about these different strengths of materials, um, as you tie a lot of flies and you get used to applying tension with your thread, you can certainly tie um, all of your intruder type flies with a 70 denier thread. Um, a 6 aught is a very good all around thread. There are some people who are more heavy handed who have a tendency to break thread or it's just um, a comfort thing of being able to really pull on the thread as you're securing materials and anytime I hear about people breaking threads or having issues, I recommend to just go a step up in thread. So if you're just starting out, um, Vivas 140 is a great steelhead all around kind of shank fly thread. A whole different world of threads from those gets into the Vivas gel spun stuff, which is, which is all right here and comes in different deniers from 30 denier on the really light end up to 200 denier. So it's kind of confusing because, you know, with 8 aught, we had those aughts, and the bigger the number, the smaller the thread. Once you get into gel spun, the bigger the number, the bigger the thread. So it's a little bit different in terms of how it's rated, but we've got a 30 denier, a 50 denier, a 100 denier, 150, and 200. I would say. In my mind, the 150 and the 200 denier um, Vivas gel spun threads are a little bit specific use. They are very thick um, because of the way the strands of material come together. They lay down on the shank really thick, which can be nice in certain situations when you're trying to build up thread. I would say saltwater fly fishing is a good application for those type of threads when you're really looking for durability and you need to be able to pull on materials really hard or spinning large sections of deer hair when that strength of how you apply the thread really helps get you the result you're looking for. The most common gel spun threads for our purposes are going to be the 50 denier and the 100 denier. And this I would think in terms of this 70 and 140 count that I was talking about before. If you do not have a problem breaking threads, it just doesn't come up for you very much, I would recommend the 50 denier Beavis gel spun. That, that's the thread that I use almost exclusively now. I use this 50 denier Beavis gel spun in black for, I would say, nine out of 10 flies I'm tying right now have that thread with them and I just really like the way it works. Now talking to customers, I do have customers that seem to break it really easily and I've stepped them up to the 100 denier Vivas and that's worked out really well. I don't hear a lot of stories about people breaking it. It's still really thin. It is going to be thinner than the power thread in the 140 so that's worth taking into consideration. The big downside I would say to Vivas gel spun as you can see on the table it's just offered in white and black. Um, I use black because I tend to tie a lot of darker flies, but if I'm tying pinks or light oranges or white steelhead flies, um, or if you're doing traditional steelhead flies and you've got light dubbing materials or light flosses, that's when white comes in handy. But it is true that you are limited to just those two colors as opposed to this, you know, kind of nice color offering in power thread or ultra thread. One thing that you can do if you, like me, become really fond of the gel spun stuff from Vivas is you can tie the whole fly um, with your gel spun and then just get to the very head and put a fluorescent head on there. And that's a way, in steelhead flies, you see a lot of bright orange heads, bright pink or chartreuse. And that's a way to keep the thread wraps minimal throughout the body and then you still have the option to use those fluorescent heads to top off the fly, which is a nice thing. I will say with gel spun, um, because of the way that the fibers come together, it does have a tendency to split more than other threads, um, which can be an issue. If you're 
splitting dubbing or splitting thread for using dubbing loops and stuff like that, I would recommend gel spun because it splits so easily. Um, but it is true that it, it can be an issue if a, if a thread spool splits at one point, it can be kind of hard to get those fibers to come back together. Personally, I haven't had too big of an issue with it, but I have heard of that from customers, so it's something to keep in mind. So Vivas also has an array of threads that are rated similarly to the Uni stuff, and I really recommend this Vivas product. Um, I think that it's very strong for what it is. So when you get into a Vivas 6 aught that can be an all-around thread for a lot of people. Um, it's a really a strong material compared to some of the other stuff out there and comes in a lot of colors um, and is really nice. But the, the thing that I think is the most appealing for me with the Vivas is if you're tying really small flies, like you, you're consistently tying 18s, but it, you get into 20s and 22s, 24s, anything of that range, their thread goes all the way down to 16 knot, um, which when I grew up, time flies. Um, the smallest I had was 8 knot, and I would tie a lot of size 20s on it and make it work. But it is, you know, if you've been working on 8 knot on size 20 midges and stuff like that, you're going to be pretty dang surprised when you go into a thread, into a spool of 16 knot. It's so thin and so strong for what it is that it's just an awesome material and you have like you can see there's a lot more colors that 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 we even have but um you know we carry the standards black white we try to keep some orange and then for for little blue wings having um like size 14 and 16 um olive thread around is a really good thing to have so that's that's a little bit of a rundown um of the threads that we carry and the way that i think about them um, like I said, I'm using a lot of gel spun, um, and I have played around with the Viva 6, 8, and 12 aught, and I just think that all that stuff is really, really awesome, really strong and thin for what it is. Um, and I do have some ultra thread that I use quite a bit on traditional steelhead type flies that I really, really like. Um, but we've kept the uni thread around and I do think that for a lot of trout purposes, uni thread is still really applicable. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that kind of dissected what's out there, what's available through us, how you use certain things in different situations and helps break it down a little bit. Thanks for tuning in.